welcome to Entertainment Tonight Northwest. I'm John Mesh. And I'm Mary Marsh. Tonight's gratuitous <laughs> sex story is about some unusual studs. Take a look, girls. A new video full of studs is coming out. The studs of the Channel 9 phone bank. Meet Lance. Here's Stewart. And don't forget Horace. Oh, my shirt. So the video will be given free to anyone who makes a $5 pledge to the station. Look for those during the next pledge break. John? Let's take a look at what's happening tonight in Northwest Entertainment. The Seattle Rep will be performing a Shakespeare play that no one's ever heard of and most people will dislike intensely. At the Paramount, there will be some lame band that had one hit in the 70s. And at UW's Beanie Hall, there'll be a reading by an angry woman who's written a book of poetry. Let's turn now to our movie critic, Leonard Martin, who's been finding big mistakes in some of those movies that have been shot in Seattle. Leonard? That's right, Mary. We've all seen those movies made in Seattle and thought something's not right. Well, here are just a few of the obvious errors I've spotted. Here's a phony scene from Sleepless in Seattle with Tom Hanks watching the 4th of July fireworks from his houseboat on Lake Union. Everyone knows that by this point in the evening, there would be drunk UW students screaming and peeing off his deck. In singles, there's this unbelievable scene where Matt Dillon walks 20 feet without being threatened by an aggressive panhandler. In a completely unrealistic shot where Seattle bikers are actually riding on a bike trail rather than darting wildly between cars in traffic. And finally, in It Happened at the World's Fair with Elvis Presley, there's the incredible sight of both monorails working at the same time. Or this totally bogus scene where Elvis walks around singing in a Seattle trailer court without being shot at. At. And then going by the Pacific Science Center without being knocked over by a bunch of kids on their way to Laser Zeppelin. <laughs> and there are a lot more where those came from. Back to you, John and Mary. <laughs> Thank you, Leonard. In this week's local reading, be sure to check out this Sunday's Pacific Magazine Northwest Living article. Another house you'll never be able to afford, not in a million years. Tomorrow's P.I. features pretty much the same stories you read last night in the Seattle Times. And this week's cover article by the editors of the Seattle Weekly, titled, We Have Absolutely No Idea What We're Talking About. And now today's special feature. Public access television, Channel 29, continues to grow in popularity. So we thought we'd update you on shows you'll want to see. You must have no other God before me. Starting the with a program with a definite clear. cult following. The poorly mic'd God. scary preacher show. Tonight we're gonna talk about a piece of shit. Here's an old standby. The excuse to swear on TV program. Damn movie uh, ever seen. Piece of Worse than this f***ing show, if you can believe that. Cats everywhere, cats on the stairs, cats... Then, of course, there's always lesbian folk singer. I've a house full of cats. I've got some new pine cones for my pine cone collection that looks like famous people. And finally, this favorite. <laughs> there's Tom your Pope. spooky neighbor who's <laughs> learned how to use a video camera. Look at this one. Lucille Ball. Looks just like her. And look at that. It looks like that Urkel kid. Don't you think? And now it's time to celebrate today's birthdays. Born on this day were Northwest Afternoon celebrity Cindy Reinhardt, who says she's 39 years old. Again. Candy at the Razzmatazz turns 23. Dan Lewis is 42. His hair turns six. And finally, Lou Guzzo of Cairo TV is 142 years old. That's it for tonight. Be sure to join us tomorrow on Entertainment Tonight Northwest when we get up close and personal with the groupies of Ken Schramm. We'll leave you tonight with some more music from the lesbian folk singer. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye. One more time. Let's go to the Katie Lane Show. Let's go. <laughs>